Mark comes from a privileged background, having received an excellent education and upbringing. He excelled academically and graduated as the best student in his class. This led him to pursue a career in the pharmaceutical industry. He joined A in a pharmaceutical company and quickly climbed the corporate ladder due to his intelligence and ambition. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Janet. The CEO and some members of the board are coming in today. I am aware. I have prepared the slides you requested for. Good. Please send it to me. I need to go through the slides and add more points. Can you allow me do the presentation? No way. Why? The chairman and board should know that I am equally smart. You should be glad I gave you the opportunity to make the slides. All right. I also need you to prepare the amber file. Okay. What kind of human being is this? He is so full of himself. He is manipulative and self-centered. He prioritizes his own interest above others and he often disregards the contributions and ideas or his colleagues. He is skilled at manipulating situations and people to his advantage. He often uses his intelligence and charm to influence others and gain the upper hand. This slide presentation is not so bad. I'll add one or two things to make it perfect. My goal is to prove to the board that I am an asset to the organization and to be one of prominent figure in the pharmaceutical industry. The chairman and the board members are here. Thanks. Mark, as the operations manager, what do you think we can do to increase our profit margin in 2024? There are several ways to increase our profit margin in 2024. Some of which are global expansion, explore opportunities for international expansion, considering markets with high demand for pharmaceutical products. Assess regulatory requirements, distribution channels, and partnerships to establish a successful global presence. Another area we can look into is strategic partnerships. We can forge strategic partnerships with research institutions, biotech companies, and healthcare organizations to enhance the company's capabilities in research, development, and distribution. Collaborate on joint ventures or licensing agreements to accelerate growth. Supply chain optimization. Streamline the supply chain to improve efficiency and reduce costs. Evaluate suppliers, logistics, and distribution channels to ensure a robust and reliable supply chain that can adapt to changing market conditions. Another area we need to look into is technology. Embrace technological advancements such as data analytics, artificial intelligence, and blockchain to optimize operations, enhance decision-making processes, and improve overall efficiency in research, development, and manufacturing. What a beautiful presentation. Thank you so much, Mark. We need to implement these points as soon as possible. The year has started. We need to get to work. Yes, Chairman. Once again, congratulations on being the employee of the year for the fifth time in a row. You are a great asset to this organization. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your encouragements. I'll do more, sir. As a special appreciation for your effort, you'll be going home with a brand new SUV. Thank you so much. This is a huge surprise to me. You are welcome. I heard the good news. Congratulations, Mark. Yay. It is similar to the SUV I bought last year. Now you have two. Yes. You are so blessed. I don't even have any. Can you give me an opportunity to prove my worth to the chairman? I make most of the suggestions but you are the only one making presentations. Can you give others a chance? What do you mean by that? You can't compare yourself to me. I got my MBA from the prestigious Harvard University. It is not by that. I know you attended Harvard but you are enjoying the grace of God. That is not true. I worked very hard to attain this position. It is a new year. I don't have time for chit chat. I'm sure you have work to do. Get to work maybe you'll be given a small car at the end of the year. Congratulations Mark. Thanks please get to work. There is no time for dilly dally this year. Okay. I am obviously the smartest in this organization. I got to this organization six years ago and I'm already at the top. Are you through with the file? I'm on it. Then you wonder why I'm the best in this organization. I would have been through if I did it myself. This is a new year, sluggish attitude will not be accepted.
Well, I'm leaving. I want to see it first thing in the morning. I hate working with dull people. Why is Joe calling me? I already had a stressful day. Joe, are you fine? Not really. Come in. Things have not really been going well for me. You know I have a wife and two children. My wife is still in the university but she is really trying her best with finances. I lost my job two weeks ago. Things have been a bit tough. Do you have any recommendations for me? I know you are a well-connected man. I told you not to get married then but you didn't listen. It won't have been this bad if you were still single. But I was doing well when I got married. So, you probably got sacked because you weren't putting in your best. Marriage became a distraction for you. What? It is true. I am the best staff in the pharmaceutical company where I work. As a matter of fact, I received a new SUV today. The chairman's driver brought it home for me. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. You are really enjoying the goodness of God. I am enjoying the reward of my labor not the goodness of God. I didn't just graduate as the best student in my class, I got a good job and my promotion was frequent. God still made it possible. I have applied to several places. I need a good job. Do you have any recommendations? You know I'm very hardworking. I don't know of any at the moment. Okay. I'll keep praying and applying. Okay. I have to be on my way. All right. You'll be fine. By the grace of God. Are you through? Everyone has left. Yes I am. Sometimes I want to resign but I need this job to support my family. Why do you want to resign? Mark doesn't appreciate the work we do. He presents himself to the chairman as the main character. We all do a lot around here. He is not the only smart one. Don't be worried about that. Do your job and allow God to lift you up. Okay. Beautiful Phoebe. I have been asking you out for over two years. I love you Phoebe. I am a Christian. I can't be in a relationship with you. But you know my name is Mark. I am from a Christian family. You are from a Christian family doesn't make you a Christian. If that is what you want. I am ready to be a Christian. Don't be a Christian for me. Be a Christian because you want to genuinely turn to God. Why is Christianity so important to you? I am a successful pharmacist. I have two SUVs. What more do you want? The Bible says in Amos 3. 3. Can two walk together, except they be agreed? I am ready to sign any agreement. I have friends who are lawyers. I want a man after God's heart. A man who can be the spiritual head of the home. A man who fears the Lord. I won't stop you from being a Christian. You can do whatever you want. I don't want that. I genuinely love the Lord. I don't want less. You think I'm less. Girls want me. They flock around me. Please go and meet them. We can never work. Meet the girls flocking around you please. It is you I want Phoebe. I like you a lot. You are one of the smartest and beautiful girls I know. I like someone else. What? Who? Do I know the person? You don't need that information yet. Am I that bad? I have to follow God's plan for me. I'm sorry I won't be able to answer your questions. It's okay. Take care of yourself. You are leaving already. Yes I am. Joe. Mark. What are you doing here? It is obvious. This is the only job I got. Wow, sorry. The outfit looks good on you though. Can I get a cup coffee? Sure you can. Life can be very funny. Joe was very brilliant in high school. He now works in a coffee shop. I'm heartbroken. How can Phoebe choose someone else over me? I am good person, am I not? So he has finally backed off. Yes. I told him he can't work. Does he know we are together? He is my boss at work. No he doesn't. We have choir rehearsals this evening. Yes. It is time to tell the pastor about our relationship. What do you think? I am okay with that. We are Christians. We have to be accountable to our leader. Is that not Phoebe and Festus? Is Festus the man she's with? So she could stoop so low. I am going to confront Festus on Monday. He must leave my babe for me. When should we meet with the pastor? We can do that next week. We have to give him prior notice. All right. Lord, I thank you for this job. 
I know that very soon, you'll give me a better one. Good morning Mark. Hope you had a great weekend. Well done. So this is who you truly are. I don't understand. Tell me, what is good about the morning? What is going on? Leave my babe alone. I don't know your babe. You know what? I don't have your time this morning. I have a lot on my table. Festus crossed the line. I am going to make his life miserable in this organization. The chairman wants to see you in his office. Oh. The CEO is around. I'd be with him shortly. Good morning sir. Good morning Mark. Please sit. I need a personal assistant. Jordan my personal assistant is relocating with his family. Can you recommend anyone? No sir. I don't have anyone at the moment. Are you sure? You don't have anyone who needs a job. You know the role comes with great benefits. I don't know anyone. Okay. We can make it public then. We can do that sir. Who do you think we can transfer from this office to our South Africa branch? I know someone who is fit sir. Who is that? Festus. He has been looking for an opportunity to relocate. He is going to like the offer. That is good then. You can leave. Festus is going to South Africa. I can now have Phoebe to myself. Why are you sad? I just got a mail that I have been transferred to the South Africa branch. What? I want to meet the HR. I am not ready to go to a different continent. Congratulations. Please, I can't go to South Africa. That is a different continent. I don't want to be far from my loved ones. Festus, I didn't make the decision. Who did? I can't say but you can meet with the head of operations or the CEO. Thanks. Mark, did you do this? Do what? Transfer me to the South Africa branch. You are so ungrateful. I recommended you for a promotion. Is that how to say thank you? This is because of Phoebe right? I don't know what you are talking about. I am only doing the Lord's work. What you are doing is the devil's work. You are evil. How do you sleep at night? I sleep fine. Don't break my door. You won't believe who did it. Mark. Yes. I want to believe it is because of Phoebe. He likes Phoebe but she doesn't like him, she likes me instead. Mark is really heartless. Can you imagine such evil behavior? What are you going to do now? I don't know. Please ask the Lord to direct you. Thanks Janet. I don't want to recommend Joe for the PA job. He is very smart. I don't want him to take my job. Why is he calling me? Has he seen the job advert already? Mark is not answering the call. I'll send my CV to the organization and not rely on him. My help comes from the Lord. I am going to trust the Lord. I want to tell you something. Okay, what is it? I don't know if it is a good news or a bad news. I rebuke bad news in Jesus' name. It is not our portion. Why are you worried? I have been promoted. Wow, that is good news. Thank you Jesus. Congratulations. As a unit head in our South Africa branch. South what? Africa. Wow. I don't know what to do. I don't want to be far away from you. I also don't want to be far away from you. What do you think I should do? I think you should take it. Are you sure? Yes. I feel God has a plan for you there. It is several miles away. I know. What about our relationship? We are going to be fine. When are you supposed to leave? In two weeks time. Can we see the pastor before you leave? I'll love that. We are going to be fine. Thank you so much my dear. Dear God, I am sure you gave me Festus. He is a good man. He loves you with the whole of his heart but South Africa is too far. I do not like long distance relationships but I'll trust you anyway. I don't know what you want to do but I'll trust you because I know that your thoughts for us are of good and not of evil. How was your day love? It was great. We had just one lecture today. Good. How was work? Work was fine as well. I have an amazing supervisor. She is calm and understanding. That's great. I applied for a job at A in a pharmaceuticals. Really? What position? Personal assistant to the CEO. Are you sure that kind of role suits you? My dear, it has amazing pecs. It pays better than managerial positions in some organizations. If I am chosen, I'll gladly take it and put in my best. You'll get it in Jesus' name. 
Amen. I know that we are going to be fine. God is going to turn everything around for our good in Jesus' name. Amen. You look so beautiful, Phoebe. Thanks. You also look good. Thanks. Can we see the pastor now? Sure. What? I'm a bit shy. Sorry for keeping you both waiting. I was told you are here to discuss something with me. Yes, Pastor. As our spiritual head, we feel it is important to inform you that we are in a relationship. I am happy to hear that. You both are spirit-filled Christians. I am happy to hear the good news. It is also good that you have decided to inform me. Some people do not like to be held accountable. I'm glad both of you are not like that. I'd like to ask you, what is the goal of this relationship? The goal is marriage. We want to get married as soon as possible. There's something really bothering me, Pastor. What is that? I have been transferred to South Africa. Really? Yes, sir. What do you think? I think he should go. The important thing is that you should be sure of your conviction. In Christianity, we court, we don't date. Take this time of courtship to pray and know each other better. Yes, sir. I want to believe both of you are not carnal Christians. You should see your bodies as living sacrifices holy and acceptable unto God. So say no to premarital sex. We already made that clear from the beginning, sir. My body is the temple of God. I will not defile God's temple. I won't defile my body. It is the temple of the living God. That is good. We don't encourage long courtship mainly because of the temptation of sex. Let's see what Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 7, 1-9. 1, 1. Now regarding the questions you asked in your letter. Yes, it is good to abstain from sexual relations. 2. But because there is so much sexual immorality, each man should have his own wife, and each woman should have her own husband. 3. The husband should fulfill his wife's sexual needs, and the wife should fulfill her husband's needs. 4. The wife gives authority over her body to her husband, and the husband gives authority over his body to his wife. 5. Do not deprive each other of sexual relations, unless you both agree to refrain from sexual intimacy for a limited time, so you can give yourselves more completely to prayer. Afterward, you should come together again so that Satan won't be able to tempt you because of your lack of self-control. 6. I say this as a concession, not as a command. 7. But I wish everyone was single, just as I am. Yet each person has a special gift from God, of one kind or another. 8. So I say to those who aren't married and to widows, it's better to stay unmarried, just as I am. 9. But if they can't control themselves, they should go ahead and marry. It's better to marry than to burn with lust. I am not going to waste her time. I love her so much and I won't want to burn with sexual lust. Once I'm settled in South Africa, I'll come back to do the needful. Phoebe, are you fine with that arrangement? Yes, Pastor. I'm fine with it. May the Lord be with you both. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. You are welcome. I'm so happy you got selected for the interview. You are going to get the job by the grace of God. Amen. Thank you, my wife. I have to be on my way. I don't want to be late. All right. God, I commit this interview into your hands. Take absolute control in Jesus' name. Are you also here for the interview? Yes, I am. I think we are about 15 persons. Okay. Can you describe your experience as a personal assistant? Certainly. I have five years of experience supporting executives and managing administrative tasks. In my previous role at Presto, I successfully coordinated schedules, handled correspondence, and ensured smooth day-to-day -day operations. Can you describe your experience as a personal assistant? I have about 25 years experience. How old are you? 30 years. You started working at age 5? Yes. How is that possible? I started assisting my mother in the kitchen at the age of 5. How do you prioritize and manage multiple tasks simultaneously? I employ a systematic approach by assessing the urgency and importance of each task. I use tools like to-do lists and calendars to organize and prioritize, ensuring deadlines are met efficiently. 
How do you handle confidential information and sensitive situations? I understand the importance of discretion and confidentiality. In my past roles, I have signed non-disclosure agreements and consistently upheld strict privacy standards, demonstrating my commitment to handling sensitive information responsibly. How do you handle demanding or difficult personalities? I show the personality that I'm also demanding and difficult. It is tit for tat. Really? Yes. I'm not stupid. If you prove to me that you are difficult, I'd show you that I'm more difficult. Really? Yes. How do you handle demanding or difficult personalities? I approach challenging interactions with patience and diplomacy. Active listening and understanding the underlying concerns help me navigate such situations effectively, ensuring a positive working relationship. What makes you the best candidate for this job? Like I said earlier, I have 25 years work experience. None of the candidates possess good knowledge of the role as much as I do. What makes you the best candidate for this job? I possess strong organizational and communication skills, coupled with a proven track record of efficiently managing tasks and schedules. My attention to detail, discretion, and ability to prioritize make me well-suited for this personal assistant role, ensuring seamless support for executives and enhancing overall productivity. Why should we hire you? You should hire me because the position is vacant and I need a job. Thanks for coming. We will get back to you. All right. We will get back to you. When should I expect it? You'll get a mail. I'll be expecting it. We will get back to you. Thank you so much. Joe, what are you doing here? I came for the interview. Interesting. I called you but you didn't pick my call. I didn't see it. I don't believe you but it's okay. It's the truth. It's okay. I hope I get this job. Why not? I still have to be at work today. See you later. All right. Nah, you are not getting the job. Joe must not get the job. Who is Joe? One of the people you interviewed. That is none of your business. Won't you ask me for the reason? Mark, I don't care. The last stage of the interview is with the chairman. You can meet the chairman. Welcome my darling. How was the interview? It was fine but I feel Mark doesn't want me there. Why do you feel so? You know Mark is really self-centered. You don't have to worry my dear husband. I am certain that nobody can stop what God has finished. That is true. Nobody can stop what God has finished. Thank you my dear wife. I love you so much my baby. I love you too my love. I can't believe you are leaving. I know. I know this was not our plan but I believe God has a better plan for us. I'll miss you so much. I'll miss you more. I'll miss you more more. I'll miss you more more more. My more is more than your more. I believe mine is more. I love you so much. I love you too. I'm going to call you every hour. Okay my love. I'm also going to call you as often as possible. Nothing is going to come between us. I'll take you to the airport. Don't worry, I'll take Uber. No way, I'll take you. All right, I don't know your plan fully but I trust you Lord. What is wrong with her? Have you found a suitable person for me? Yes sir. That's very good. When is he resuming? About that sir, Mark said he knows the candidate personally. So? He said the candidate is not suitable sir. From the interview you conducted, do you believe that to be true? No sir. Then let the young man resume. All right sir. Also, who do you think can be promoted to the post of assistant brand manager since Festus has gone to the South Africa branch? Janet sir. She is very hard working and she gives her best to the team. The promotion should take immediate effect. All right sir. Hello sir. There's something I'll like to discuss with you. What is that? It's about one of the candidates the HR manager interviewed. Mark, you have no business with that. But sir, I'm a bit busy Mark. Have you checked your email? My email. You haven't checked. You should check it. Dear Janet, we are thrilled to inform you that after careful consideration, you have been promoted to the position of assistant brand manager. 
Your exceptional skills, dedication, and innovative approach have set you apart, making you the ideal candidate for this pivotal role. As assistant brand manager, you will play a crucial part in shaping and executing our brand strategy. Your responsibilities will include market analysis, campaign development, and collaboration with cross-functional teams to drive brand awareness and customer engagement. Your keen insights and strategic mindset will contribute significantly to our brand's success. This promotion not only recognizes your past achievements but also reflects our confidence in your ability to excel in this new role. We are confident that your passion for branding, coupled with your strong analytical skills, will propel our brand to new heights. Your journey with A&A &A Pharmaceuticals has been marked by dedication and a commitment to excellence. This promotion is a testament to your hard work, and we believe that you will continue to make invaluable contributions to our brand's success. We look forward to seeing the positive impact you will undoubtedly make as assistant brand manager. Congratulations on this well-deserved promotion. Best regards. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve it. So Joe is going to be chairman's PA and Janet is now the assistant brand manager. I'm still the most sought after staff. I can't be intimidated. Now that Festus is gone, I have to look for ways to get Phoebe. But what can I do? Since she is a serious Christian, I think I should start attending her church. Yes. You are so smart, Mark. I check my email up to 20 times in a day. Lord, I need this miracle. Let me open it now. Did I just see congratulations? Wow. Subject. Congratulations on your job offer, personal assistant position. Dear Joseph, I am delighted to extend my warmest congratulations on your job offer for the position of personal assistant at A&A Pharmaceuticals. Your exceptional skills, professionalism, and dedication have truly stood out throughout the hiring process. In this crucial role, your organizational prowess and attention to detail will undoubtedly contribute to the seamless functioning of our team. We are confident that your abilities will greatly enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of our operations. Attached, please find your official offer letter, which outlines the terms of your employment, including compensation details and starting date. Should you have any questions or require further clarification, please do not hesitate to reach out. We eagerly anticipate the positive impact we know you will bring to the team and look forward to working closely with you. Once again, congratulations on this well-deserved achievement. Best regards, Susan, HR Manager, a and Pharmaceuticals. Thank you Jesus. I should share this good news with my wife. Baby, guess what? You know I'm not good at guessing. I got the job. Thank you Jesus. This is the best news I've heard this month. Congratulations my dear husband. Welcome to Atlantic Guest House, how may I help you? I made a reservation. What is your name? Festus Anderson. Please give me a minute to confirm that. Okay. Your room is room 204. Do enjoy your stay here. Thanks. Thank you Jesus. I should call Phoebe. I saw five missed calls from Festus. I don't know how I slept off. I have been calling him since I saw it. His phone number is not reachable. Hello. Hi. Welcome to a and Pharmaceuticals. How may I help you? My name is Festus. I am the new brand manager. Wow. We have been expecting you. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Hello, Mark. Joe. It is my first day at work. I can see that. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm going to my office. I know you can't have a personal office like mine. You are free to come to my office. Welcome to A&A &A, Mr. Joseph. Thank you so much. Joe is fine. Okay Joe. The chairman is not here yet. You'll be working directly with him. Alright. Sir, you can't go in. You can't tell me what to do and what not to do. When I came for the interview, the HR promised to get back. So, which she did. What I saw was sorry to inform you. You got that because you failed the interview stage. I have never failed at anything in my life. I don't fail. 
What is he doing here? What is happening here? Excuse me, you don't have any appointment with us. So you chose this guy that lacks experience over 25 years work experience. We chose the best candidate. You'll be informed when there's a vacant position. The position of a brand manager is vacant. I don't know how you got to know but it has always been vacant. The operations manager doubles as a brand manager. Can I take the position? No you can't. Can you please leave? The personal assistant role is beneath me anyway. I don't like being embarrassed so I'll leave. Who is this guy? I heard that. I don't want to use force so please leave. I already said I'd leave. I now have my own office. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity you have given me to work in this capacity. I ask dear Lord for wisdom and knowledge to make the right decision and move this organization forward in Jesus name. Let my stay here be fruitful in Jesus name. Amen. I guess Phoebe was asleep last night. I'll leave her a message and call her at the close of work. Why are you smiling? Festus sent me a very sweet message. Love is sweet. Yes it is. How do you intend to cope with a long distance relationship? I love him and I trust him. I know we are getting married soon by the grace of God. Is he coming back or you are moving? I don't mind moving. I work remotely anyway. It can never be me. I can't move to such a place. That is why I am not you. Welcome Joe. My name is Albert Brown. I am the chairman and CEO of a and Pharmaceuticals. It is an honor to meet you sir. I'm glad to have this opportunity to work with you. Please sit down. Basically, what you are going to be doing is handling tasks like managing my schedule, coordinating meetings, handling correspondence, and providing administrative support. You may also conduct research, prepare reports, and serve as a liaison between me and other staff members. Additionally, confidentiality, attention to detail, and excellent organizational skills are crucial in this role. All right, sir. Why are you just coming? I took permission. We now have a new brand manager. I was informed he'll resume today. Is he handsome? Priscilla, I can't answer that. I'll check for myself. My crush. Excuse me, do I know you? This must be destiny. Can't you remember me? No, I don't. We met on the plane. We met. I sat close to you. Oh, what are you doing here? I work here as the assistant brand manager. Very stupid people. I was really hoping that getting a job at a pharmaceutical company would make Rani value me more. Even my mother thought I'm a pharmacist and a medical doctor. What do I do now? I should see James. He is good with ideas. What do you want this time? You can't even ask me how the interview went. James, it is with deep sorrow that I announced to you that I didn't get the job. I'm not surprised. Why do you want to work there anyway? What do you mean by you are not surprised? You should have at least pretended to be surprised. You dropped out of medical school. Yes, but I later studied pharmacy. You dropped out in your fourth year. So what do I do now? My parents call me doctor. My fiancé doesn't know that I dropped out of college. I think you should open up to them. I thought you were smarter than me. Yes, I am. I graduated from the university. You studied plant science. So, is it not better than yours? So can you help me out with your plant science brain? You know what? I'm leaving. Please don't. I need help. I need to get a job in a medical facility. Do you mind working as a janitor? That's too low for me. Your beggar has a choice. Is it a big medical facility? Yes. I'll take it. You still need to go for the interview. Interview to be a medical janitor. Can't you see that it sounds like medical doctor? You have a valid point. When is it? I'll give you someone's contact. You should be able to have the interview tomorrow. Thank you James. I have always known you to be a good friend. Schedule a meeting with Coach Pharmaceuticals tomorrow. All right, sir. Working with you is going to be so much fun. If you don't mind, I can show you around. No, I can find my way around. Okay. I'll like to have a meeting with the team members by 1 p.m. Can you notify them? Sure, I'll do anything. Hello everyone. My name is Festus. 
I am the new brand manager for this branch. Thank you. You are welcome, Festus. It is good to have you here. Dear team members, I'm thrilled to be your new brand manager. I believe in our collective potential. Our goal is to elevate our pharmaceutical brand to new heights. I expect each of you to contribute your expertise, collaborate effectively, and stay abreast of industry trends. Let's foster innovation, prioritize quality, and work together to make a positive impact on healthcare. Our success depends on the dedication and excellence of each team member. Let's embark on this exciting journey together. Thank you everyone. I think I should go to the hospital. You are yet to finish your food. I already told you that you don't have to. Vikran, my son is a medical doctor and a pharmacist. He is going to be home soon. My stomach hurts. Sorry, my friend. I think that's him. Dr. Vikran, welcome home. You have a patient in the kitchen. What? My friend is ill. I told her not to go to the hospital because my son is both a medical doctor and a pharmacist. You shouldn't have done that. I am tired. You know I went for an interview. That's true. How was it? I rejected the offer. Why? I got a better one. That's my friend. Please take her to the hospital. I can't treat any patient now. As long as I work in a medical facility, I am a doctor. I have to get the medical janitor job. I wish you success in your interview. Thanks. Bye. You didn't ask about my friend's health. You are not crying so she is fine. Don't be heartless. Once I get this job, I'll be out of the house. I know that. I'm going to miss you. I'm so proud of you. I have told all my friends that you are a medical doctor and a pharmacist. Okay, bye. I must get this job. My mother must not know that I didn't finish med school. Mr. Vikran, can you describe your experience with handling biohazardous waste and maintaining compliance with safety protocols? Mr. Vikran, I have experience handling biohazardous waste, ensuring it is properly segregated, packaged, and disposed of according to regulations, with a keen focus on maintaining the safety of all personnel. Okay. How do you ensure proper sanitation in medical facilities, considering the high importance of cleanliness in healthcare environments? I prioritize cleanliness by following strict protocols, utilizing proper cleaning agents, and regularly disinfecting high-touch surfaces to maintain a hygienic medical environment. Can you discuss your familiarity with specialized cleaning equipment used in medical settings and your ability to operate them safely and effectively? Please, is there more to this role than being a janitor or is this interview for the role of a medical consultant? I am familiar with specialized cleaning equipment used in medical settings, and I ensure their proper maintenance. I follow manufacturer guidelines and undergo training to operate them safely. Alright, we will get back to you. I'll be expecting a positive response from you. He is really strange but I think he should get this job. Turn to your neighbor and tell him or her this year shall be your year of overflow. This year shall be your year of overflow. This year shall be your year of overflow. Hallelujah. Today we shall be studying the life of Moses. Let us delve into the extraordinary life of Moses, a towering figure in the Bible whose unwavering faith and obedience to God serve as an inspiration for us all. Moses' journey begins in the humble reeds of the Nile, where his mother, guided by faith, placed him in a basket to save him from the cruel decree of Pharaoh. God's providence was evident from the start, as Moses was rescued and raised in the palace, eventually becoming a prince of Egypt. However, Moses' life took a dramatic turn when he witnessed the oppression of his people, the Israelites. Driven by compassion and a sense of justice, he chose to identify with his enslaved brethren rather than enjoy the comforts of royalty. This pivotal decision showcases Moses' deep faith and commitment to God's calling. The burning bush encounter on Mount Horeb marked a turning point in Moses' life. In that sacred moment, God revealed his divine plan for Moses to lead the Israelites out of bondage. Despite initial hesitation and self-doubt, Moses' faith triumphed over his fears, and he embraced the daunting task ahead. The journey through the wilderness was arduous, testing Moses' faith and the faith of the Israelites. Yet, through miracles and challenges alike, Moses remained steadfast. 
His reliance on God's guidance was evident in the parting of the Red Sea, the provision of manna, and the water flowing from the rock. At Mount Sinai, Moses ascended to receive the Ten Commandments, a divine covenant that would shape the moral foundation of the Israelite nation. His close communion with God on the mountain symbolizes the importance of seeking God's wisdom and guidance in our own lives. Despite his profound relationship with God, Moses faced moments of frustration and disobedience. The incident at Meribah serves as a reminder that even great leaders can falter. However, God's mercy prevailed, emphasizing the importance of repentance and reliance on divine grace. As we reflect on Moses' life, let us draw inspiration from his unwavering faith, courage in the face of adversity, and humble obedience to God's calling. May we, like Moses, trusting God's plan for our lives, navigate the wilderness of challenges with faith, and strive to live according to his commandments. In closing, let us remember the words of Deuteronomy 31, 6, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. As you go into a new week and the remaining days of this year, endeavor to have complete faith in God. God bless you. Amen. That was profound. Yes. Lord, help me to have complete faith in you and obey your instructions. That is also my prayer. I hope to get to Phoebe's church before the end of the service. I want her to think I now attend her church. Thank God for today's service. I'll like to greet Pastor Sam. All right. I'll wait for you in the car. That was a powerful sermon, Pastor. I was so blessed by it. Thank you, Phoebe. How is Festus? Hope he is fine. Yes, Pastor. He is fine. He sent his regards. That's good. I always remember you both in my prayers. Please. Do not allow the devil to come between you two. Thank you so much, Pastor. We will never give room to the devil. Have a blessed week, sir. And you too. Phoebe, it is such a surprise to see you. What are you doing here? This is my church. Since when? I can't really remember. What a powerful service. Yes, it was. What is your take home from the service? What do you mean? What did you learn? I learned that we should be doing good to people. What? It is well with you. Phoebe, can I take you out for lunch? I'm not hungry. You don't have to eat if you don't want to. I'm going home. I am harmless Phoebe. This is a brand new mark. Can my sister go with us? Your sister? Yes. We came to church together. I want us to hang out because I'll like you to explain some things to me from the Bible. Can we do that some other time? I am a new Christian Phoebe. It is important we do so now. Okay. Thank you, Phoebe. It shouldn't be more than one hour and we are going to a public place. All right. Thanks, Phoebe. Why not a normal restaurant? No, I can't do a low-level restaurant. You a special. Special. I am only here to explain some things in the Bible to you. Let's sit over here. So what do you want me to explain? Something from the book of Romans. Do you mean Romans? Is that what it is called? This is a big mistake. How is Festus? He is very fine. You know he is not coming back right. That is not true. Even if it is, it is none of your business. I can't stop loving you Phoebe. I want to leave. Please get someone else to explain the Bible to you. But we just got here. I'm sorry if I said anything to annoy you. I shouldn't have come in the first place. Do you hate me that much? That is Festus. I have to go. Can I take you home? No please. I'll take Uber. My plans fail. I should have known he had a plan all along. Who was that? He is one deceptive human. I just thank God that I didn't fall in his trap. Thank God. Acceptance email. Subject, job offer for medical janitor position. Dear Vikran, we are pleased to extend an offer for the position of medical janitor at Hope Specialist Hospital. Your skills and experience align seamlessly with our requirements, and we believe you will be a valuable addition to our team. 
Your responsibilities will include maintaining the cleanliness and hygiene standards within the medical facility, contributing to a safe and sterile environment for both staff and patients. To formally accept this offer, please reply to this email with your confirmation. Additionally, we will provide you with the necessary paperwork to complete the hiring process. We are excited about the prospect of having you on board and look forward to your positive response. If you have any questions or require further information, feel free to contact us. Finally, Ma, I got the job, that means I can leave the house soon. Congratulations my son, I am so proud of you. Dr. Wickren, thank you mom. You are now a doctor at which hospital? It is confidential. I can't disclose the information. Why? Is it a secret cult? Congratulations anyway. I am super proud of you my brilliant son. Thanks mama. I'm going out. Alright. I'll prepare a special meal for you. Thanks. I can now be bold enough to tell anyone that I am a medical doctor. James, you can now call me Dr. Vikran. Like a traditional doctor or an herbalist. A medical doctor. I don't understand. How? I got the job. Which job? The one you recommended me for. I recommended you for a medical janitor not a medical doctor position. Don't be delusional. You dropped out of medical school. I chose to see it as a medical doctor position. Why can't you go back to med school if you really want to be a doctor? No I can't. It is more like my parents wish. I'd have loved to be an artist. My father had heart attack the first time I told him about my art dream. You know you can still do it right. Where I'm from, medicine is the most noble profession. Parents are always proud to tell their friends that their son or daughter is a medical doctor. I don't want my mother to drop dead. I already lost my father. Sometimes, I feel like I killed him. You did not kill him. Don't blame yourself. He was already ill. How long do you want to do this for? You can't live a life forever. You didn't become a medical doctor that they wanted. Why lie that you are a medical doctor? Live your dream Bikran. You cannot understand. I am the only child. You still need to live your life. Be who you are made to be and stop living a lie. I need to go and prepare for work. I'm resuming tomorrow. All right. Hello Mark. We are starting a marketing campaign soon. I already sent my already prepared presentation to your mail. Can I present it to chairman? No you can't. But I am the assistant brand manager. So, are you the brand manager? Why do you treat me like I do not matter? I'm not in the mood for your talk. You can't follow me to work mom. I really wish to. Hope you are not so late. You know I'm always very punctual. I was told to resume by 11 am. Alright my son, please be safe. I am not going into the military. You still have to be safe. Alright. Welcome Mr. Vikran. Thanks. You'll need to change into your kit. Yes. I want to wear scrub like the doctors. No. That's not what you are to wear. We have a different uniform. Come with me. That is one of your colleagues. His name is Alex. Can you see what he is wearing? Yes. You can change here and get to work. Alex will explain every other thing to you. I have just been thinking. How can we expand and gain more traction globally? If you don't mind sir, I have an idea. Really? Yes sir. Let me hear it. We can expand through partnerships. How can we do that? We can form strategic partnerships with local distributors, healthcare providers, or research institutions. Can you expatiate? Yes sir. I'm listening. We can form strategic alliances, establish strategic alliances with healthcare providers, distributors, or technology companies to enhance market access, distribution channels, and leverage each other's strengths. Joint ventures is also another way. Collaborate on specific projects or ventures with other pharmaceutical firms, sharing risks, costs, and benefits while tapping into combined capabilities. Co-marketing agreements is also a very good avenue. We can partner with other companies to jointly market and promote products, increasing market reach and potentially reducing marketing expenses. You are very smart. What did you study in school? I studied pharmacy. I also have an MBA. That is why you are so smart. You know what? The brand manager position is open. I'll like to offer you the position. 
The offer also comes with a brand new car and a well-finished apartment. That's if you want it. Sir, I want it. Thank you so much sir. Why are you crying? I did not expect it. It is tears of joy. It's okay. You deserve it. Thank you sir. Steve, I was calling you this morning. Oh, I didn't hear you. You look sick. I'm not sick. Are you sure? You don't need to hide it. My son Vikran is a medical doctor. He works at. I can't really remember the name of the hospital. He can treat you. Maybe he should treat you. Leave me alone. I am not sick. You are so rude. Is that how you talk to your mother? You are not my mother. Very rude and ungrateful human being. I don't look too bad. The important thing is that I work in a big medical facility. My prayer right now is not to meet anyone I know. Welcome to the team. What is your name? My name is Vikran. I am Alex. You are to clean the restroom on the ground floor. All right. Vikran. Do I know you? Yes, you do. We were roommates in medical school. I haven't seen you since you left. I don't think I can remember you. I remember you. Do you work here as a janitor? Not really. I'm on a humanitarian mission. I chose this hospital to render my humanitarian service. Oh, that's interesting. I can remember that you dropped out. Did you later finish medical school? What is your name again? Simon. Simon, I'm here to focus on my humanitarian assignment. All right, I'll see you around. This is just day one. I don't think this is a good idea. How do I cope with situations like this? I have a special announcement. Chairman is so happy. What could it be? I'm happy to announce that Joe, my personal assistant, is the new brand manager. I'm honored, sir. What nonsense. Someone is not happy. Chairman, why Joe? Do you have any problem with that? But it is my job. No, it is not. The position was vacant. You were only made the temporary head. You are the head of operations. But sir. We don't have anything to discuss on this matter. Congratulations on your new role. Thank you. You are the assistant brand manager, right? Yes, I am. We are going to be working together. Yes. Baby, I have a good news. Can you guess? You know I'm not good at guessing. You are looking at the new brand manager. What did you say? I am the new brand manager. Wow, you went to work as a PA and came back as a brand manager. How did it happen? It is still like a dream to me. I went to work earlier than usual because the chairman wanted to attend a meeting. On our way, he asked a question. He was not really asking me. So I asked if I could give a response. My dear wife, that was it. That was God. Yes, it was clearly God. I thank God for the opportunity to prove myself. Thank God you didn't decline the offer of a personal assistant. Thank God I didn't. I won't have this position if I did. Thank you Jesus. Wow, Jesus did it. Yes he did. Congratulations my dear husband. I should have known that I would meet someone I know. I just had to pretend like he was a stranger to me. While I was struggling with academics, Simon was one of the best student. My baby girl is calling me. I'll meet her there soon. My beautiful Ronnie. How are you Vikran? You look stressed. I am stressed but I'm happy to see you. How was your first day at work? It was not bad. Vikran, you know you don't have to lie right? Lie about what? About who you are. I'm not lying about anything. Are you sure? I am 100% sure. Why do you think I'm lying? Nothing. Okay. I'm graduating from college soon. My father has asked me to bring you. Your father? He is the senior medical consultant at the government hospital. Yes, he is. I have told him so much about you. He can't wait to meet you. He is so excited that you both are in the same profession. He is excited. He is so excited. You both are going to have a lot to talk about. He is happy that I'm with someone as responsible as him. Did he say someone as responsible as him? Those were his exact words. Is this weekend okay? No, it is not okay. What about next week? Next week is also not okay. So when is okay? 
No time is okay. I am not okay. You are not. I don't understand you Vikram. Why are you not okay? What is really going on? You don't love me. I love you Rani. Please don't cry. But you said no time is okay. I'm sorry I said that. Can you give me more time please? I need to put some things in place before seeing him. All right. How was work my son? Work was fine. I didn't know you'll be back from your shop so soon. Who could that be? Don't worry, I'll check. Please I want to see the doctor. The who? My daughter is ill. I want to see the doctor. Who told you to come here? Mrs. Vanya. Really? Are you not the doctor? This house is not a hospital. Please take your child to the hospital. Okay. Mom, why are you telling people that I'm a medical doctor? A woman was at the door asking to see the doctor. I only told few people. How many people did you tell? About 30 people. Why? Why not? Please stop, mom. What did I do wrong? I think it's time to face my passion which is art. My dream has always been to be an artist. I have created several artwork and sold it to art galleries and individuals. I can't keep lying to please people. What are you doing in my office? I'm waiting for you. I like you Festus. I have not been able to get you off my mind since the first day I set my eyes on you. Sorry about that. Sorry. Yes. Sorry that I can't like you back. I am in a godly relationship with the woman I love. That makes me love you more. Please let's have this discussion outside my office. It is better to have it at the reception, a place where everyone would see and hear us. Don't bother. How can you turn down what everyone likes? I'm not everyone. I am a Christian. I go to church. That is not what makes one a Christian. You must have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Christ must be seen in you. So you are a pastor. Nonsense. God, please touch this lady. Please make a way for me to go back home to my Phoebe. I have spent three months here. I want to get married to the love of my life. My friend, how are you today? I'm going to the hospital. I'm having a sharp pain in my stomach. What hospital does your son work? I really don't know. He didn't tell me. You don't know. I don't. Are you sure he is really a medical doctor? Don't ever say that again. My son is a certified medical doctor. All right. I'll go to Hope Specialist Hospital. All right. Please see the doctor in the first room on your left. She caught me. Vikran, a janitor. Please you didn't see me. I am not blind. I can see you clearly. Please don't tell my mother. Why? She doesn't know that you are not a medical doctor. She doesn't know. I dropped out of medical school. I only went to med school to honor my parents' wish. It was never my passion. I was struggling and failing so I left. Oh, what then do you have passion for? Art. I am a very good artist. Wow, I love art. Did you make that painting in your sitting room? Yes, I did. Wow, your mother said you bought it. I said so so she won't suspect a thing. I like to get to a bit. I really love it. Wow, thanks. Do you know my son manages a big art studio in France? Wow, I did not know. I'll talk to him about you. Thank you so much, ma. Are you busy on Sunday? No, I'm not. I'd like to invite you to my church. Vikran, it is important that we have a relationship with Jesus. We can't do life alone. But I am not a Christian. I am aware of that. That is why it is important that you know Jesus. It is not only our life here that is important. Where we spend eternity is also important. Eternity. We believe in reincarnation in Hinduism. There is nothing like reincarnation. It is appointed for a man to die once and after it is judgment. Judgment. Yes. Hebrews 9:27 just as people are destined to die once and after that to face judgment. I honestly do not want to be reincarnated. The Jesus way is better. Yes it is. Jesus is the way, the truth and life. My lunch break is almost over. Can we continue at the cafeteria? Yes. What do I need to do now? Are you ready to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, I am ready. Glory to Jesus. Let's pray. You are going to repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. Lord Jesus, I come to you today as a sinner. I believe that you died on the cross of Calvary for my sins. I believe that you died on the cross of Calvary for my sins. I repent from all my sins today. 
I repent from all my sins today. I accept you Lord Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. I accept you Lord Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Wash away my sins and write my name in the book of life. Wash away my sins and write my name in the book of life. In Jesus name, Amen. In Jesus name, Amen. Congratulations Vikran. There is rejoicing in heaven over you. Really? Yes. I'm going to get you a Bible. It is God's word to us. You can speak to God and God can speak to you through it. Thanks. I want to specially invite you to church on Sunday. I'll be there. I want to leave this job. I want to be true to myself and to God. That's good. I believe that God is going to elevate you when you do so. Thanks. You came here to see the doctor, right? Yes, but I do not feel any pain anymore. Maybe you are the reason I'm here. Wow. Thank you so much, mom. You are welcome. Collaboration report. Results and achievements. Successful product launches. Introduced a new medication for Alzheimer resulting from collaborative efforts. Achieved regulatory approvals in report time because of shared assets and expertise. Market recognition. We received positive attention from industry stakeholders and media for our revolutionary collaborations. Enhanced logo reputation and expanded market share. Increased pipeline efficiency. Accelerated the improvement of pipeline products, lowering time to market. Achieved value financial savings through shared resources and streamlined processes. Continuous improvement. Implemented ordinary feedback mechanisms with collaborators to evaluate the effectiveness of the collaboration. Adapted techniques based totally on lessons learned, making sure non-stop improvement. The collaborative campaign has established to be a convincing achievement, ensuing intangible benefits along with multiplied product development, more advantageous market presence, and reinforced enterprise relationships. As we pass forward, we stay committed to fostering innovation via strategic collaborations, positioning ourselves at the vanguard of pharmaceutical improvements. That was a good presentation. Thanks. I am happy with the report. Thank you, sir. Please see me in my office. When? Right away. Please sit. I've noticed that in team meetings, your confidence sometimes comes across as arrogance. This can make others hesitate to share their ideas. Imagine how much stronger our team could be if everyone felt comfortable contributing. Let's work together to create a more inclusive and collaborative environment. Did anyone report me to you? No. Like I said, I noticed it. Mark, you are very smart but you need to calm down. You need to see yourself as part of the team not the only one in the team. But I am the best in this organization and you know it. I am an asset. I am not arrogant. I only try to prove my worth. You are not arrogant. I am not. I noticed that Joe and I are receiving the same salary. Why? What do you mean by why? I got to this organization before him. We can't be and shouldn't be on the same level. He is a senior manager just like you. It is the same salary scale. It should not be. You can leave if you are not okay with it. Fine. Since you do not know my worth, I'll have to leave. I wish you the best. You can send in your resignation letter. How are you Susan? I'm fine sir. Mark sent a resignation email. Yes. He department should send an email to Festus who is presently in South Africa. He should return to this branch as the new head of operations. All right, sir. Is today your day off? No. So why are you home? I resigned. You did what? Medicine was never my passion. I followed you in dad's dreams, not mine. Vikran, I'm sorry, mama. I want to follow my passion. You are not angry. I'm not. I'm sorry I made you do what you do not want. I know you love art. You do. Yes I do. I see your paintings. But you never spoke about it. I know. I was selfish. I am sorry. Please Vikran, follow your passion. Thank you mom. I also have a new passion. What is that? I am now a Christian. Really? Yes mom. Are you sure about that decision? I am 100% sure. I want you to come to church with me. I don't know about that. Please mom, I like us to experience Jesus together. 
I want us to experience peace on earth and also in heaven. I want to see you in heaven, mom. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you, mom. God, you did it for me. Thank you, Jesus. Operations manager position. It can only be you, Lord. I am going to be united with my Phoebe. I miss Festus. God, please, bring him back. That must be my sister. My Phoebe. Is this a dream? No, it is not. Someone please wake me up. Are you real? This is your Festus. When did you get this funny? I've missed you. I missed you more. I just wanted to surprise you. I am very tired but I just had to do this surprise visit. I have a lot to tell you. I have good news. Are you back or this is a visit? I am back. Thank you Jesus. I'll see you tomorrow. Are you coming to church? Yes I am. We are going to spend more time together after church. I'm taking you to your favorite restaurant. Love you baby. Love you more. Banya came with Vikran. Vikran did what I was unable to do in years. Thank you Jesus. I am happy to see you my friend. You came to church. Vikran invited me. It is good to see you Vikran. Thanks for inviting your mum. I had to. I want her to know Jesus. That's good. Let's go in. The service is about to start. John 3, 16 to 21 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. 17 For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. 18 He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. 19 And this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. 20. For everyone practicing evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. 21. But he who does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. God loves us so much that he sacrificed his only son for our sins. How many of us can sacrifice our child for someone else's sin? I can never do that. What kind of love is that? His love for us can't be compared to any other. Tell your neighbor that, I won't take the love of God for granted. I won't take the love of God for granted. I won't take the love of God for granted. Jesus is calling on you today. If you are ready to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please come forward. Please clap for our new brothers and sisters in Christ as they publicly declare their faith in Christ. I want to go forward. Really, yes. I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you too, my love. Are you ready to go? Yes, I am. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal your commitment with a kiss, marking the beginning of your beautiful journey together. We are married. Today is my happiest day. God put the enemy to shame. Yes, he did. I'm happy for this new chapter of your life, my son. Art exhibition in France is a huge one. Thank you, mom. I'm happy your friend saw me at the hospital. She connected me with her son. I sent some of my work to him in France. He said many people are interested in my work. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus did it. Yes, he did. May the Lord be with you. Amen.